Uh, fourth and the last paper for this uh, session is um, a fast network exploration strategy to profile low energy consumption for keyword spotting. Uh, keyword spotting, uh, and it will be presented by Arnab Muzumdar. Uh, uh, he is a PhD student at uh, University of Maryland, Baltimore County. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Arnab Dilim Mazumdar and I'm here to present our work on a fast network exploration strategy to profile low energy consumption for keyword spotting. So TinyML deployments require the deep neural networks that are being used over there to be made lightweight just so that they can fit into the uh, tiny edge devices like tiny FPGAs and uh, commodity microcontrollers. But this, on the other hand, requires uh, extensive fine tuning in terms of network parameters. Now, traditionally, this has been done uh, in a trial and error basis, and uh, it is a challenging, ta uh, challenging task because it is not easy to figure out the optimal number of parameters for uh, such a large uh, deep neural net, net, networks that are uh, out there. So in our work, we focus on only the quantization and scaling of a deployed convolutional neural network. Both of these par parameter contribute significantly to, uh, to both the accuracy and the power of a, a hardware de deployment. Uh, so traditionally, whenever a, a low precision net, network is being used, uh, uh, its scale or, or, or the scale of the filters is increased so that one can make a case for the uh, accuracy. And similarly, uh, the, uh, in, in terms of using uh, uh, full precision networks, the scale is, uh, is lo lowered, so one can make a case for the energy over here. So we are claiming that uh, be between these two extremes, there is actually a sweet spot uh, where, where we can uh, uh, say that uh, uh, this sort of quantization of or, or scale and, 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 and scaling is suitable for uh, uh, both the accuracy and the ener uh, energy. To that extent, we are actually proposing a regression-oriented network ex ex exploration approach over here that will figure out the best of both worlds for us. So this figure over here uh, encapsulates the uh, overall workflow that we have. We start with a handful of uh, different configurations. In our case, there are 12 different con configurations corresponding to different quantization and scaling levels. Uh, we train the net, net networks. Uh, then we have some accuracy values from, from, from them, and we perform the regression on it. Next, we uh, deploy this handful of networks onto the FPGA uh, platform, generate some energy values, and get the uh, energy regression out, out of it. Once we have the regression results from both the accuracy and energy, we can uh, 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 generate a contour curve out of that, which will uh, tell us the suit, suit, suitable con, con, con configuration that will lead to a near optimal uh, solution. And this is what is actually uh, uh, used in terms of uh, evaluation over here. Uh, to that extent, we make a, a, a number of assumptions uh, for the deployed CNN over here, and the regression polynomials that we used uh, uh, turn out to be some, uh, some, some, something like this. Uh, also, the problem that we're trying to solve over here uh, is uh, of this form over here, where we're saying that we want to minimize the energy for a deployed uh, CNN, uh, uh, given that it is reaching some sort of target accuracy uh, for different uh, configurations of quantization and scaling. And the network that we use to achieve that is uh, uh, this uh, table over here, which is just a, a cascade of three convolution max pooling uh, pairs followed by uh, a, a few uh, fully, fully connected layers. Uh, our application task uh, uh, in this case is uh, keyword spotting. We use the Google speech commands for uh, speech commands data set for that. And uh, you, you can also note that in the figure, uh, we are not using the audios in their raw uh, waveform. We are act actually ta 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 taking the MFCC fe features out of them and then running it over here. Now, uh, as we talked about uh, uh, for the regression, uh, once you uh, allow the regression to happen on the accuracy, you will be able to generate uh, this contour plot over here, which is just a representation of how, uh, what the accuracy trend is in terms of the scaling and the quantization. 
next, we deploy our uh, handful of con con configurations into our hardware accelerator. Our accelerator actually consists of four distinct parts, the uh, processing engine, uh, the address generators, uh, the um, memories, and the max pooling logic. Uh, when we deploy these networks onto our accelerators, we'll be able to generate uh, energy result, re results out of them. And once we do the regression uh, using the polynomial we showed in the pre previous slide, we'll, we'll be able to uh, uh, use this, uh, uh, I mean, gen gen generate this energy contour curve. And the near optimal solution is actually the minima of this uh, contour curve over here. In, in our use case, this re results in a, a, a quantization level of four with a 90.1 accuracy. Next, this table over here uh, actually demonstrates the differences between the actual and the predicted values due, due, due to the regression for both the energy and the accuracy. And uh, as you can see, uh, our, the accuracy uh, RMSE is actually 0 0.9, which is, actu uh, which is indicative of, of a very good fit uh, in, in our use case. So uh, this table over here demonstrate the, uh, demonstrates the, uh, per, uh, the performance of our implementation. Uh, you will be able to see that the near optimal solution that we achieved through the reg regression set setup led us to a configuration of quantization of four and a scaling of 4.5. And this also gave us an energy efficiency that was in excess of 104 millijoules, uh, four gobs per joules. We also compared our work to two recent works uh, of uh, uh, keyword spotting that also use the Google speech commands data set, but they use 8-bit precision, whereas in our work, we use a 4-bit precision, but we achieve slightly higher accuracy. And in terms of energy efficiency, we are actually four times uh, better uh, than the FPGA work. And compared to the microcontroller work, we are actually 17 times higher in terms of latency. So some conclusions. So in a nutshell, uh, this work over here allows us to uh, figure out a near optimal sol solutions for, uh, for our variables of interest, uh, of given some constraints that are out there. Uh, it is uh, the whole selling point is that this uh, approach is fast uh, compared to some uh, 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 traditional NAS approaches. And it might be able to, uh, we, we, we can actually use this on top of that so that we can make a case for that. Uh, uh, the design exploration space would be decreased to some extent. And uh, the other thing is that we can also enhance the scope of this work by integrating different network parameters over here. So this is all for me. Uh, thank you so much. And so for any questions and queries. Uh, um, Hello. Thank you very much for this interesting presentation. I have a question about the search space that you constructed, especially for the neural network. Mm -hmm. And uh, so is it mostly focused on the task that you have, like the convolutions? So uh, yeah, that's a very good question. The approach that we are uh, adopting over here, it's not very task specific. You can actually use any sort of task over here. For in our use case, we only focused on uh, keyword spotting. But uh, we, we have also experimented with vision applications, and the reg regression setup holds true for all of them. And how easy or difficult to extend this to include other types you know, of neural networks, like transformer architectures? or? So in terms of transformer architectures, it, uh, the setup uh, alone is not very difficult to implement, because it only de depends on a handful of uh, variables. But the task becomes more difficult once you actually increase the numbers of va variables that you want to figure out the solution to. So in our use case, we only focused on quantization and, and scaling. But a network actually has uh, a whole lot of parameters out, out there, like depth, like sparsity, and uh, resolution of an, an inputs. In that case, uh, the re regression might not be an ex exact solution. And you might have to adopt NAS approaches like that. So. Uh, in terms of the task, uh, you can actually uh, include any sort of task over here, uh, provided that the uh, variables that we're trying to find the solutions to are limited to a certain extent. So, yeah. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Uh, Iqbal Mohammed Samsung. Uh, very interesting work. Uh, I'm curious, when you were doing your profiling, the only workload that's on the FPGA is the keyword spotting yes. network. So uh, what about sort of? Other scenarios where you might have multiple applications that are running on it, or you know, different hardware blocks. You mentioned MSO, uh, 
the, uh, uh, the features that you're using for the audio, they're computed separately? What if you have other kinds of work that's being done on the FPGA? Is that going to change the uh, kind of efficacy of that regression-based uh, modeling? So uh, the efficacy of the regression is not going to change because the process is just using some sort of random data points over here. Uh, the dat data points that you are using for our use case, it's coming out of keyword spotting. And for different applications like vision applications and maybe like uh, multimodal applications, it could be different things. But it would still allow you to uh, figure out a near optimal s solution. Not an optimal solution, but it will reduce your search space to a certain extent where you can use the uh, NAS setup later, and that will allow you to have uh, a lot less GPU hours than you would actually initially start with. So just to follow up, so let's say I've got three different applications on my FPGA. I profile all three of them independently using your model and then just add up the power. Is, mm -hmm. that, is that the idea? So no, that's not exactly the idea. So if you have three different applications, uh, and they don't correlate with each other, adding them won't, won't be actually something that the setup is going to represent over here. So each of these cases will, will act as an individual case, but the setup can be uh, scalable to any sort of application. That's the idea. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, currently, uh, so I'm, I'm something from UCLA. So uh, you're using, uh, you're pre first profiling your model on, I guess, a certain model of a PGA, getting the energy, plotting the regression curve, and using that during the NAS. Is it going to work for other PGA boards? Other digit boards? Other PGA boards. So uh, yeah, if I can just go back to. So yeah, you see, uh, we actually make a, a number of assumptions regarding the size the, uh, for the feature maps, the models, the multiplication and addition cost. These are all coming uh, from a number of ex experiments that we run on the uh, FPGA boards to figure out the trends out of, uh, or, uh, out of it. And when you actually change the FPGAs, the, this sort of uh, uh, trend will uh, also hold true. They, 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 they are not going, going, go, go, going to change, but they will change when you actually change the device itself. Okay. Because if you are using micro con controllers or some sort of mobile G G GPUs, then this sort of equations over here and the uh, equations that come later, these regressions, they have to be uh, sure. reintegrated to a sense that it can encapsulate the whole idea that we're trying to so probably you, You're kind of here. assuming this proxies kind of hold. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and what search strategy are you using during the NAS? What, what search strategy are oh, you using? Oh no! So NAS? we are not using a NAS over here. Okay. So so this is uh, the whole idea of this is that you can act, use this on top of a NAS setup, so that once you actually move on to the NAS setup, your design exploration would be something that would so, be so really your extensive. Your goal was to kind of make a proxy, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And we are very thankful for, for our sponsors. Uh, the executive, the premier sponsor this year is, is H Impulse. Uh, uh, and then uh, uh, executive sponsors are ARM, Deep Light, uh, uh, Qualcomm, and Sintian. Uh, Platinum sponsor Analog Devices, uh, Brainchip, Infineon, Clickatech, Latent AI, NXP, uh, Reality AI, Renaissance, Sony Semiconductor, and Synaptics, really. Very diverse company, great companies uh, who are really driving uh, tiny ML forward. Uh, and um, uh, gold sponsors, PhotoHub, MicroAI, Prophecy, Seed Studio, SenseML, uh, ST Microelectronics, uh, Syncense, Exmos. And we have a list of uh, civil sponsors, Avion Devices, Aspinity, Siva, Emza, uh, GreenWave Technologies, Gravity, Hymix, HOTG, Imagimob, um, Itemis, uh, Lattice, Nota, uh, OmniML, Pixart, Plumerai, Kixo, uh, Rackner, Rixen, SAP, Stream Analyze, Texel, and Google. So we are very uh, thankful for their support and more importantly for them being part of this community and driving it forward.